Can you feel it, my son? Closing in all around you. The light's justice has been awakened. The sins of the past have finally caught up to you. You will be called to account. Though my soul was one of the first to be devoured by your evil, there are thousands more bound within this blade, and they cry out for release. Look now to your defenses, my son, for the champions of justice gather at your gates. Northrend, the icy barren region of northern Azeroth. This land serves as the stronghold of the Lich King, a being also known as Arthas Menethil, the former crown prince of the fallen kingdom of Lordaeron. Originally a paladin of the Silver Hand and a follower of the Light, he sought to save his homeland from the rising threat of the undead. His determination and desperation drove him to pick up the cursed sword, Frostmourne, which in turn stole his soul, corrupting him. Having become the first of the Scourge's Death Knights, Arthas destroyed the kingdom that he was trying to protect. Now a follower of darkness, he is the leader of the Undead Scourge, the very faction that he originally fought against. From atop his frozen throne in Icecrown, he commands the forces of the Scourge into wrecking havoc across all of Azeroth. The Argent Crusade, a faction of warriors of all races, has come here, led by High Lord Tyrion Fordring. By their side are the Knights of the Ebon Blade, former heroes slain and raised into undeath by the Lich King himself. Having broken their contract with the Scourge after being betrayed, these Death Knights are now valuable allies against their former master. Assisted by both the Horde and the Alliance, united by one goal, they seek to end the tyrannical reign of the Lich King. A cold and hostile land, this is not a place any living being would seek out freely. Yet here we are, for the sake of a friend. Would you tell me now why we're in Northrend? Thank you both for following me here. You've earned my honesty. Did we have a choice in the matter? Not really. Thank you regardless. I've come here to find an old friend. I've arranged to meet with a contact in this tavern. That's where I'll start. You can wait here, Luna. We'll go ahead and find this contact.
This is the warmest place in an otherwise rather cold settlement. I come to sit here a lot. We don't get many night elves here, you know. I can see why. This place doesn't have much to offer. Yet, here you are. My friend is here looking for someone. I couldn't turn down a chance to follow and see a new land. He and my brother will be back soon. Are you our contact? Well, that depends on who sent you. Some warlock in Stormwind. He wouldn't tell me his name. Ah, yes. An old friend of mine. How can I help you, stranger? I'm looking for someone. I was told that you could help. I don't know, my mind is a little blurry. Maybe a few coins would refresh my memory. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, stranger. Go and meet Captain Linden. He'll tell you where to find your friend. Why can't you tell me? I haven't even told you his name. Oh, I'm only here to direct people to Captain Linden. Then what did I pay you for? You underestimate the value of my information. Hmm. Then do you know where Captain Linden is? No. <laughs> You're a useless contact. What? How dare you say that to me? Let's go, Idron. You will pay for this. You will come to regret the day when you insulted my expertise. Check, please. Come on, Luna. We have to find Captain Linden. Luna, who is this dwarf? He's kept me company. It's nothing to worry about. The name's Joram. And if you'd like, I can take you to the captain. I know where he is. Oh, great. My problems are solving themselves. Honestly, Emmerich, why do you need me here? You can find your friend on your own. Northrend is a harsh land, Idron. I can use your help if push comes to shove. And besides, I know how much you like fighting undead. True. Captain Linden? How can I be of assistance? I'm looking for someone. I was told you could help. I'll need more information than that, son. His name is Brydenbrad. Brydenbrad, yes. I know of him. A fine soldier. Last I knew, he was headed to Ice Crown along with his regiment. Ice Crown? The Alliance is preparing for an assault on the Scourge Gates. I just sent another regiment there. If you go now, you could catch up with them. The best way to kill Scourge is just like anything else. With a sharp blade. Wrong. The light is the best weapon. As a paladin, I've been trained in battling undeath. Being undead, I should know more about undeath than your precious warrior cult. Are you calling me a cultist? When do we stop for food? Shut up for one second. Oh. What's the horn? Torms, man. I will take their leader. You 
Your men are dying around you, human. Why do you still fight? Why do you insist on delaying the inevitable? I would sooner die on my feet than on my knees. I'd expect an orc to know more about honor than anyone, but it appears I was wrong. Then I will grant you a swift death, human. Many warriors have gone to their ancestors. This was a costly victory. Gather the dead. They deserve a warrior's burial. What could have done this? Likely a hard ambush. There's nothing we can do now. Listen, I know where they're headed. I can take you there if you want me to. How do we know if we can trust you, Dwarf? You don't. He's helped us this far, and we don't really have much choice. The more the merrier. Get ready then. It's a long journey. Daggers are small and quick. Much more effective than big, clumsy swords. Swords are obviously superior. Have you ever tried cutting an arm off with a dagger? I have tried it. And succeeded. Is it true what I hear, Gadash? Did you ambush and slaughter an entire Alliance regiment? It's true. Why? The Alliance is not our target here. The Scourge is the real threat. The Alliance destroyed my home and slaughtered everyone I knew. They deserved everything they got. Your hatred for them is justified, but I need you to focus on the task at hand. I knew your father. He was a brave and honorable warrior. He did not deserve to die like I understand your anger, but I will not let it consume you. Now get ready. We're headed for Ice Crown. Ice Crown? We have been assigned to scout for Scourge activity. Get the troops ready. Undead are everywhere, never-ending. Where do you propose we go? We go to Stormwind. I know people there, and the plague cannot have spread that far. Emmerich... I have lost so many already. I feel it only right to take the fight to the undead, if only to prevent as much death as possible. That time will come, but we can't do it alone. We must only be patient. What has happened here cannot go ignored. Very well. You're right. To Stormwind, then. It's a long way, though. We've handled more difficult tasks before. This is a welcome fire. The cold here gets to you. You seem to know a lot about this land, Joram. Aye, I've been here for a long time. I first came here on Muradin's expedition to find that cursed blade, Frostmorn. What happened? 
There was a battle. Most of us remained behind to fight the Scourge while Arthas and Muradin went to find the sword. Arthas eventually returned without Muradin. Prince Arthas, where is Muradin? We can't hold out for much longer. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmoor. Arthas disappeared after the Scourge was defeated. With no way home and no leadership left, some of us traveled west, hoping to find civilization. We eventually entered this very forest. I remember it being as cold and unforgiving as today. We traveled for what seemed like an eternity. With failing strength and no supplies, most of us perished in the woods. My brother was among those who died. They all remained where they fell. After a long journey and many more losses, both to scourge and attrition, we were picked up by a scouting ship passing by. A small ship, but luckily, or unfortunately, we were few enough remaining to fit on her. I came back to help the war effort and hopefully find other survivors from the expedition. Some call it wishful thinking. Anyway, it is not a memory I would like to relive. I'm sorry. Would you have preferred if I hadn't asked? Curiosity is the root of knowledge. Don't be afraid of asking questions, lass. Your brother is very... Overprotective. Our parents died when we were younger. He blamed himself for not protecting them. But he was young and couldn't have hoped to predict what would happen. He just wishes to protect me from the same fate. Your flank is too exposed. Easy for you to say. With a shield at your side. Ditch the hammer. Get a sword and a shield. The hammer is a paladin's best friend. Is the light not a paladin's best friend? The hammer stays. We elves are better in every way. Name one way. We know more of magic than anyone else. Your knowledge of magic only serves as a cause for your arrogance. There. I disproved you already. Rarely have I been so insulted. Also, you're too easily insulted. We will be staying here for the time being. Rest up, Gradosh. It's still a long way to go. Free to come with me, Nosh.
Are you with me? As always. of orcs nearby. Leave now, human, unless you have a death wish. Come on, Idrin. Let's get the others. Let's keep going. What's the hurry? Every moment spent here is time that could be spent searching for Brydenbrad. You owe us for that, you know. The spirits were watching over me. Nosh, you're being ungrateful. Thank you for saving me. Damn right. Why are you so eager to defy me, Kudash? By ignoring my orders, you not only endanger yourself, but the lives of those around you. I will not have any blood pointlessly spilled under my command. Have you grown weak, Garm? Was it not you who taught me to fight the Alliance in the first place? I have not grown weak, but I realize who the real enemy is. Get some rest. Regain lost strength. We leave at sunrise. We're walking in circles. Ah, uh, nonsense. I know the way. Isn't that where we camped? Maybe we are a bit lost. We'll just take the other way at the crossroads. To be honest with you, Luna, I know this is the right way. I was just hoping we wouldn't have to go here. Why is that? I know what is down this road. And in this forest, I would prefer the unknown. What's wrong? 
Many friends have died here. Come on, Joram. We're almost out of here. I know. Give me a minute. Are you okay, Joram? I'm fine. Just give me a minute. At least the scourge didn't take them. You're not a druid, Nosh, yet your Tabard is of the Cenarian Circle. I grew up among druids, though I never possessed the skills nor the interest to become one myself. The members of the Circle still respect me, and I will always respect them. Now, maybe you can tell me something. You and Roderick have known each other for a long time, Lynn. I have yet to hear your story. It was in Lordaeron, before the Scourge came. He was only a thief by then, relying on pickpocketing to survive. That was when I met him. He apologized for stealing and convinced me that he was only trying to endure. Being the kind and caring person that I am, I accepted his apology. We spoke and he convinced me to train him as a paladin so he could lead a moral life. He proved to be a quick learner, and showed a connection to the life that surpassed mine. He could have become a great paladin one day. We got to know each other, and as the days passed, we started spending more time with each other, and less time on training. I eventually had to return to my home in Quel'Thalas. We didn't see each other for months, and so we drifted apart. Then the Scourge came. They all fought bravely, but ultimately, Lauderon stood no chance. Then they marched on Silvermoon City. We fought them as well, but for each of us that fell, the Scourge increased their numbers. But I didn't fight, I ran. Instead of defending my home alongside my people, I fled because I was afraid. I stayed on the outskirts for days, living on whatever nature provided. Until Roderick found me. Not recognizing him, I got ready to attack, but he was quick to knock me out. When I woke up, he was sitting next to me. He'd been watching over me, protecting me. He explained who he was. He had been slain and raised by the Scourge, but he has regained his free will in the service of Sylvanas. I still couldn't recognize him, but I trusted his words.
generally a good retelling of the story, though you forgot that one time when I killed a dragon. That never happened. And you never explained how handsome I used to be. I'd say you looked worse than now. Are you insulting me or coming on to me? Prepare to move. This forest is dark and hostile to the unwary, and we will be short on supplies. So always be on your guard, and don't expect any rest, for we won't be stopping until we see the light of day again. I'm so sick of trees. I'm starting to doubt that you can get us out of this forest, dwarf. We'll be out of here soon, I know it. Am I supposed to trust those words more than I did yesterday, or the day before that? I don't care whether you trust me or not. You ought to. Trust has gotten you this far. Are you still certain about this, Emmerich? What is a single dwarf going to do? Drink us to death? If he wanted to betray us, he would have done so already. Give the dwarf more time. We won't be doing better without him. Come on, there's still a long way to go. This forest, it's treacherous. One could easily get lost in it. If I was in charge, we would be out of here already. If you were in charge, we would end up in Outland. Are you questioning my sense of direction? That's it. I'm not speaking to you anymore. Oh, grow up. You grow up. Hey, boss. The, uh, spirits are telling me it's time for grub. Brah! You're all like a bunch of children. We're not stopping until we're out of this forest. I'm getting hungry, and you won't like me when I'm hungry. I've seen you hungry, Nosh. You only get more docile. Fine. I'll stay hungry. Embrace the fresh air. It is taken for granted. We will be making camp momentarily for some much needed rest and replenishment. You've all learned it. The Dragon Blight. I hear this is where dragons go when their time is at an end. It has an eerie calm to it.
Stay back, human. You may be carrying the plague. Gee, I hope not. That'd be awful. I'm... I'm not a ghoul, am I? Calm down, Idrin. He's obviously not undead. Fools of Stormwind! Hear me, naive children of the Alliance! Tremble and know your doom! For the Lich King's gaze is fixed upon you! We could argue here, or we could go to the harbor to help the king and his men. He helped us, Idrin. Very well, human. I will trust your words, if only in the face of a common enemy. Excellent. And if I become a ghoul, you're free to kill me. I suspect it's not very pleasant. Brings you here, Kodos. What are you doing here by yourself? I'm thinking. Thinking of what? Life, death, whatever comes to mind. I'm getting old, Kodos. I want to die in battle like a real orc. I want people to remember me long after I die. I want there to be songs sung about me, but our enemies here are too weak to grant me that honor. What point is there in honor if you have to die for it? Do you feel honorable when dead? Can you hear the songs sung? No. None of that matters. Whether you die with honor or cowardice, it won't matter because you won't be there to witness it anyway. Somehow, hearing that from the most battle-hungry orc I know amuses me. I'm afraid, Kodash. Afraid of the possibility that others will speak of me one day with words of dishonor. I will do whatever I can in my life to prevent that. That is the only comfort to my fear. You're already the most honorable orc, I know. You don't have to die for it. Thank you, Kadosh. I appreciate your words, but my opinion remains. I will be back soon. This journey has proven longer than expected. Were you expecting to find him in Valiant's Keep? I didn't expect a journey of several days. Do you fear that we won't succeed? I fear that we won't find him. And if one of us gets hurt, the blood will be on my hands. If your fear of failure is greater than your desire for success, then you will likely fail. Don't fear the outcome. Look forward to it. Do you not regret coming with me? You're implying that we had a choice. Nevertheless, I don't regret it. We've come this far. We might as well stay to the end. following me, Joram. Why? I understand you had the chance to kill my companions. What stayed your hand? The scourge is not to be taken lightly, Joram. For every one of us that die, they grow stronger. Wise words, Garm. Are you headed to Ice Crown as we are? 
A journey all the way to Ice Crown. Why? In search of someone. In search of one person? What is the cause of this act of desperation? Desperation or devotion? I wouldn't know. I only recently met them. Listen, Garm. I know these lands well. I know that there will be more scourge the closer we get to Ice Crown. So, I come with a proposal. What would you say to a potential alliance between our groups? I respect you, Joram, but most of my group does not. I have a lot of soldiers. Most of them are good. But inevitably, some of them are not. They would stab you in the back if they got the chance. If I were to accept this, some would accuse me of treason. I value honor highly, and treason is highly dishonorable. I will do my best to keep them from you, but for the sake of both you and me, I have to decline this alliance. Very well, Garm. I understand, and I respect your word. I can only wish you luck from now on. To you as well, Joram. Joram. Is it devotion that drives your friend, or greed? I can't assist you, but I can advise you. Know your friends and trust each other. You will need it in Ice Crown. Joram. Where have you been? Oh, just out for a walk. Hmm. Go ahead and get some rest. I want us moving as soon as possible. Crystal Song Forest. Enjoy the view. We won't be here for long. This forest is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Come on, Luna. We have to keep going. in Northrend. They must be over 10,000 years old. I spotted our horde friends walking the same way as us. Could they be headed to Ice Crown as well? They are. How do you know? I spoke to their leader. You what? Why would you make contact with them? We can use all the help we can get. The horde would rather kill us before they'd help us. How could they be your choice of help? What other choice was there, Idrin? The wildlife? He's only trying to help. 
Why are you being so hostile? You know the answer to that. The past is making you paranoid. Why must you let it affect others? Enough of this. Emmerich, my trust for the dwarf is running out. I appreciate your honesty, Joram. I just wish it had come sooner. Did it occur to you to tell us earlier? To what end? You would have refused the idea anyway. I could use a good fight. Hello. Are you following us, Forsaken? No, I am not. And I do have a name. But don't worry. I've been instructed not to harm you. You seem very confident for being so outnumbered. I could do more than harm you if I wanted to. What's news, Roderick? We'll be an ice crown by tomorrow. And the Alliance? Unharmed. Thank you, Roderick. At ease. What's on your mind, Gredash? Can I not just sit here and admire the view? Of course you can. But I know you. You're never quiet. <laughs> Likewise. Why have you followed us here, Nosh? Do you feel that this land is for you? No, but I'm here because I owe you, Gredash. Do you? Do you remember when we met, Gredash? I was not an aggressive being before then. I would spend my time alone trying to commune with the spirits. It was an easy life, a peaceful one. One that I was comfortable with. But it wouldn't last. War came, and I was sent to fight. With no experience in combat, I was always at a disadvantage. But somehow, you were always there to protect me. Like my own personal guardian. I 
tracked you down after the battle to find some way to repay you. But in time, debt became friendship. With strong friendship comes loyalty. And besides, your thirst for battle has rubbed off on me. There's a lack of it back home. I'm only here due to boredom. Where have you been, Roderick? It's classified. Why do you never tell me anything? I'm so sick of this. Have you spoken to him? He says he is here out of loyalty. Why did you want to know? I want to tell you something about your father. Your father and I were inseparable. He was always there for me. We watched Grom and the chieftains drink the demon's blood. We went through the dark portal. We fought the Alliance. We traveled to Kalimdor. We watched Grom drink the demon's blood. Again. The point is, your father was always there for me. And he died because I wasn't. I want you to always have someone by your side as well. Nosh will always be there for me. I know it. But will you always be there for him? Promise me that you will always be by his side. You have my word. Thank you, Kadosh. Are you he who knows all? Ah, it appears my reputation precedes me. How can I help you, stranger? I'm looking for someone in Northrend. I need your help to find him. Of course you do. In order to help you, however, I must extract a fee from you. Is that a requirement? Alas, it is. Otherwise, I won't be able to help you. Thank you. I have now arranged a meeting with my contact in Valiant's Keep. He will be able to help you further. Can't you just tell me how to find him? Don't you know all? Yes, but it is not so simple. You must make this journey by yourself, for enlightenment and whatever. Can you at least tell me where your contact is? He's in the tavern a lot, so you could try looking there. I mean, I know he's there. Now go, leave this place, and never writ- Just piss off, alright? Uh, okay. Fine, then. Thank you for your supposed help. I should apologize for my distrust, Emmerich. Luna is all I've got. I was only trying to protect her. But you've been a good friend during these last few weeks. You're right. You should be sorry. You can make up for it, though. By following me to Northrend, no questions asked. Why would- No questions asked. Very well. I'll follow you. As expected, we didn't need the Horde to help us. The Argent Crusade seems to have cleared out the undead, but they will be back. Hey, 
Megram, is that you? What are you doing here, Joram? You're not surprised to see me. It was obvious you'd come looking for me eventually. Then there's the answer to your question. Fair enough. We have a regiment of troops nearby. I'll take you to the commander. Captain Hammond, these people are here to see you. What's up? Captain Hammond? That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm looking for a friend, and I was told he could be found here. His name is Brydenbrad. Yeah, I know that name. I won't be able to help you, regrettably, as I have to focus on the offensive. When the time is right, we will crush the Scorch and take this position in the name of the Alliance. This isn't much of an assault force. Huh, <laughs> not to worry. We have more troops spread out along the mountain pass, hidden from view. We are the Vanguard. They know to look for my signal. And when that time comes, we will rain down upon them from all sides. We're also awaiting one final regiment from Valiant's Keep. They're not coming. Your regiment was attacked by Horde forces on the way here. I'm sorry. Uh, I see. An unfortunate event, though it won't hold us back. Uh, I will have to report this, if you'll excuse me. Truth be told, Emmerich, I wasn't supposed to lead this assault. Our commander perished on the way here. I was his second in command, so I took charge. But the soldiers, they don't trust me as much as him. I have few people to stand beside me when battle commences. You seemed so confident a minute ago. I'll have to display confidence. What soldier would trust a man who can't even trust himself? They need to trust you, but you need to trust them as well. It'll give you the confidence you need. What if we were to stand by your side and support you in the battle? And in return, you would help me find Brightonbrad. We've only just met, Emmerich. How do I know if you'll stand by your word? Because you know that I need something from you. And you're no good to me dead. We both gain what we want. That's Dalaran. It was destroyed by the Scourge during the Third War, but the mages reclaimed and rebuilt it. Now it's here, looming over those that destroyed it, seeking to bring them the same fate. The capabilities of magic are incredible. Great news. We're joining the battle. What have I told you about volunteering us? You love being volunteered. Not quite. There's no other way to find him. I won't let this journey be for nothing. We'll follow you, of course. But consult us from now on. My sword is more valuable. It was the last thing my father crafted before he passed away. These daggers have been passed down in my family for hundreds of years. Is that really true? I found them on a corpse. But I am willing to admit defeat and that makes me a better person. Nosh, what's the story behind your weapon? 
I ripped a tree out of the ground. We have arrived. I will separate us into smaller groups and assign them to various areas. This area has been cleared of Scourge, so there may be alliance about. If you see them, do not engage them, Gradash. I would beat you in a pie-eating contest. I think you severely underestimate my pie-eating skills. Is that why you're so fat? I cannot believe you just said that! You forced my hand. Attacking them would gain us nothing. I promised Garm that I wouldn't. Let's just keep going. When do we stop for food? to know why I have problems with trust, Dwarf. Our parents, they didn't die to war or natural causes, but to betrayal. When we were young, our family had a close friend. He was always kind to us. He raised us almost as much as our parents did. He taught us how to act, how to fight, how to survive. I could always count on him when I needed help, or just someone to speak to. I came home one day to find my parents on the ground, in a pool of their own blood. Next to them stood our friend, dagger in hand. I could see no remorse in his eyes, nor any other emotion. I don't know why he killed them, and I don't know why he let me go. As far as I know, he's still out there, possibly committing more atrocities. I don't believe in vengeance. That won't change anything. If I find him, when I find him, I will not kill him to avenge them, but because he still poses a threat to others. If you were in my boots, would you so easily put your trust in others? Tell me, Dwarf, yes or no? Do you think you have earned my trust? Yeah, I have. I see. Then you have it, Joram. They seem to finally be getting along. A miracle indeed. If I may ask, why are you so determined to find this man? He and I trained together as paladins before the Scourge invasion. When the undead came, I never lost anyone to them. But Brad and Brad, he wasn't as lucky. When the Alliance sailed to Northrend, he wanted to come with, to see what he could do to keep the Scourge from hurting more people. But I suggested we stay on the defensive in Stormwind. I realized that I should have been more supportive about his wishes. Luna. What is it? I don't want you fighting in the battle. Why is that? There will be too much going on for me to protect you. I don't need protecting. I can handle myself. I promised myself that I would always watch over you. May I speak to him in private, Luna? Of course. Try talking some sense into him, Emmerich. You won't be able to watch her at all times. Why should I dismiss the times that I can? To prepare yourself for the times that you cannot. She's the only family I've got left, Emmerich. I will still do what I can to protect her. Of course. Just don't tell her I agreed to it.
Their moment of reckoning has come. Draw swords, men, and fight well. Good luck out there. Engines! You orc! To hell with you and your pathetic horde! A poor choice of words.
figured we would meet again, human. Why are you doing this? You'll bring death to us all! I couldn't let the Alliance have all the fun today. Emmerich. Good, you're awake. I knew you wouldn't perish so easily. Bright and proud. I am here with the Argent Crusade. We have come to save anyone who yet draws breath. We have established a forward camp nearby. I have already taken more than a dozen men there. If you're feeling weak, I would suggest you go there. That will have to wait, Bright and proud. There are people I must find before that. Hydrin! Emmerich, have you seen my sister? I have to find her. There is one other night elf nearby. There. Please don't die. Please don't leave me. She still lives, Adrian. She has only been knocked out. Most have already perished. There is not much I can do anymore. I'm sorry. Where is Roderick? Did you think I was hurt, Nosh? I choose to take that as a personal insult. Emmerich. You ought to head to the camp. Your dwarven friend Joram should already be there. I will stay here to save as many as possible, whatever it takes. As you say then, and thank you for this. How can we recover from this? With the help of the Argent Crusade. The only purpose in taking this position was to get an advantage over the Horde, thus furthering hostilities between our factions. But we need to be united in this war, and the Argent Crusade is the thread that can tie us together. They are specialized in fighting undeath. Let them lead the fight. Let the Horde and Alliance assist from the sides. That is the way you defeat the Lich King. Why have you followed us here, Joram? You had no obligation to do so. Uh, several reasons. I was hoping to find survivors from Muradin's expedition. But mainly, I've grown old. And I wanted one final adventure before I retire for good. I suppose both wishes came true. 
Aye, it's been a good ride. I won't soon forget these last few days with you. Uh, excuse me, Joram. Crusader's Pinnacle, they call this place. It was captured by the Hero of Northrend, and a handful of Crusaders. The Hero of Northrend? A bearer of great deeds. It is their given title. But I don't know much else. If I'm lucky, I may be able to meet them someday. Anyway, the ground here has been consecrated. No Scourge can step foot here without being severely weakened. This is our sanctuary, for the time being. Listen, Brad and Brad. I need to apologize to you. I realize I should have been more sympathetic when you wanted to sail to Northrend. I know that you've lost so much more than I have. Actually, Emmerich, I've received word. My brother Robert is still alive. He is currently staying in Stormwind. I have yet to hear from others, but I am certain that more are still alive. <laughs> that is indeed great news. Come on, Emmerich. We don't have much on this rock, but I can at least get you something to eat. How are you doing, Roderick? I'm fine. You tend to be the more sympathetic of us. How are you doing? Many have died. Will we recover from this? The Horde will. But our regiment, I doubt it. Do you think he made the right choice? That depends on his purpose. Strategically, no. Did he just want to fight? Then yes, he got one. It's not a choice I would have made. It was a bold move, Gredash. Too few have survived. Garm is on his way. You will have to answer to him. And you will gather every orc that you find, living and dead. Welcome back to consciousness. I've been awake for some time. I just wanted to worry you. <laughs> I never knew this evil side of you. The Broken Front, that's what they call it. There are still people alive down there at the mercy of the Scourge. I will do what I can to rescue as many as possible. I'd be glad if you were to join me. Of course. I owe you that much. You will live. There is an encampment to the south. I urge you to go there. Thank you. And please, don't let the Scourge raise anyone. What made you leave the Alliance military? Don't tell me you were dissatisfied with our army rations. No, thankfully I remain unscarred from the rations. My regiment met with the Argent Crusade on the way here. They saw my potential and I was inducted by High Lord Tyrion Forging himself. A great honor indeed.
Most are too far gone to save. The least we can do is give them a proper burial. We found a few survivors, but not as many as we hoped. Yet, it's better than nothing. More than expected have been saved. We're doing good, Emmerich. Though, I feel darkness encroaching. What little light there is, is fading. Arthas, you damn traitor! We need to go, Emmerich. The Lich King is too powerful for us! We should leave, Gredash. Even you can't stand against the Lich King. you soon. Are you joking? This is no time for joking. I will meet you again. You have my word. Side by side, just as you wished. We must keep going, Gredash.
She wanted to show mercy whenever possible. That's why she carried her staff. She felt it gave her more control over her enemies' fates. I promised myself I would protect her. The only promise I've ever made. But I couldn't keep it. I'm sorry. Sorry? You are the entire reason we're here. You are the reason my sister has paid the ultimate price. Sorry cannot make up for this, Emmerich. Sorry won't bring her back. Are you leaving? soul. Thankfully, it wasn't taken by Arthas. I am truly sorry. She deserved a better fate. Unfortunately, I am not here to better the situation. I have news that cannot be delayed. I have been infected with the plague of undeath, Emmerich. What? How do you know? I am aware of its symptoms. I don't know how long it's been. Is there a way to cure it? There might be. But to my knowledge, it doesn't look good. Death surrounds you in these lands. If you're lucky, you won't have to become part of it. It appears luck was not on my side. Your salvation will come. The Light does not abandon its champions. That may be true. But when darkness prevails, does the light really have a choice? This land knows nothing but darkness. Though I am confident that, eventually, the light will be able to shine through. We only need patience to witness it. I am sorry to force this upon you, Emmerich. But I urge you to stay away from me for the time being. I cannot risk spreading the disease to anyone else. Get some rest, Emmerich. I will come to you when I've found a solution. I must apologize again for leaving without word of parting. I promised to return when I had found a cure. It's a promise I would have liked to keep, but I do not have enough time left to fulfill it. I cannot remain near others in fear of infecting them as well. Thus I cannot seek assistance for my troubles. I do not fear death itself, but I loathe to consider serving the traitor Arthas, though it is a fate that I have accepted. It is not something I would wish upon anyone else. This is my fate, and my fate alone. For the first time I feel that the light has truly abandoned me. It is a shame. I would have liked to see the Lich King fall, to have a celebratory drink, to meet the hero of Northrend, and I would have liked to go home to see the family that I have left. I trust that you will do that in my stead. I have headed into isolation to avoid contact with others anyone else caught this disease, I would not be able to forgive myself. Do not come looking for me. It would be a great disservice if you did. This is my farewell, Emmerich. Thank you for seeking me out. Now live on with no regrets.
I heard what happened down there, and I know that you were there when it happened. Are you okay, Emmerich? No. I understand, and I'm sorry. Captain Francis, at your service. The Crusade is preparing to march upon Ice Crown Citadel. I would be honored if you were to fight by my side. With all due respect, Captain, how do you expect to succeed? The way has been cleared by Skybreaker and Orgrim's Hammer with the assistance of the Hero of Northrend. If there's ever a good time to attack, this is it. I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot go down there again. No good can come of it. I understand. I'll be nearby if you change your mind. Captain, is there another means of entry to reach the Citadel? Yes. There's a narrow path through the mountains. We sent scouts through and believe it to be where the new Death Knights are trained. It is much too narrow for an army to pass through, however. I don't need an army. What are you doing, Nosh? I am trying to communicate with the spirits. I am rarely successful, but with the Lich King's presence, it proves almost impossible. His death troubles you, does it not? He died a glorious death in battle. He deserved such an honorable end. No, Nosh. The Scourge will raise him into undeath, denying him the glory that he sought. I'm undead, and I have a ton of glory. You don't have any glory. You're just jealous of all my glory. Garm does not deserve the dishonor of being undead. Uh, I mean, of being a slave to the Lich King. I will personally grant him the glory that he deserves. I am aware of my mistakes. It's my fault that she is dead, and that Joram had to sacrifice himself. No. We chose to follow you here. I thought you said you didn't have a choice. I don't think you'd have been able to stop us had we refused. We're all responsible for our own actions. Don't blame yourself for them. Whatever mistakes you've made, focus on correcting them rather than punishing yourself. And that is what I aim to do. I will go there to avenge Luna. I will give Joram the peace that he deserves. I will make the Scourge suffer for what they have done. Will you come with me, Idrin? I wouldn't refuse such an offer. The lack of Scourge is surprising, and slightly disappointing. They are likely drawn away by the Crusade's advances. Joram could still be here, 
It cannot have been converted already. I tried to resist it, but it gets in your head. The scurred presence has become impossible for me to ignore. Please, Emric, end this before I lose my mind to them. for long, Joram. But for these last few days, you've been a good friend. I cannot thank you enough for your help. You gave me one last adventure. I am eternally grateful for that. You! You are the one who led the ambush. You are the reason so many died, Horde and Alliance alike. You are the reason my friends are dead. I am aware of my actions, human. You would be wrong to think that I do not regret them. And for what? Was it only to sate your desire for battle? Don't talk to me about desires, human. Was it not your desires that brought your friends here? How do you- It takes strength to stand alone, but it takes wisdom to know when to stand together. Heed the words of Garm, the Scourge is the real threat. Fighting would get us killed. If you are willing to lay your hatred aside, then so am I. We could fight them, but the Orc is right. It would serve no purpose. Very well, Orc. I will trust your words, if only in the face of a common enemy.
My choices are what led you to this fate. I am sorry for what you have become. I don't expect any redemption. But I can at least give you the death in battle that you wanted. Your words of regret redeem you in my eyes. Thank you for ending this, Gradash. It's the Crusade. They managed to push through. You fight well for an elf. I'm used to elves being terrible fighters. Screw you, Roderick! I got 13. How many did you get? 17. Well, I'm not a bragger. No, just a sore loser. Your memory will be honored, Garm. I will tell them that you died gloriously in battle, sacrificing yourself to save us. There will be songs sung about you, just as you wanted. Thank you for your years of guidance. I will continue to make you proud. I should be surprised to see you, Emmerich, yet I'm not. Your prowess in battle shows. If you wish to fight with us now, my offer still stands. Fighting for the cause of vengeance is pointless. It won't bring her back. But I feel it fair to say, it's time for the Lich King to meet his end. We will fight with you, Captain. What of you, Orc? Will you fight alongside the Argent Crusade? I won't refuse a worthy battle. We will fight as well, Crusader. You best prepare then. The High Lord is arriving. I would kill you right now if it wasn't for the Crusade's presence, Orc. I won't forget the acts you've committed. If I see you again, I will not hesitate to end you. I look forward to seeing you try. Rise up, Argent Crusaders! The hour of justice has come! Is my son, for the champions of justice gather at your gates.
back! Careful! The plague has gripped me, and I'll not see it spread to you nor anyone else! <laughs>